Some of Key West's greatest treasures are actually a few miles off of the main drag, one of those being the Ford East Martello Museum. Now, this is run by the Key West Art and Historical Society. They also run the Custom House and the Key West Lighthouse. We're going to talk a little bit more about these museums this morning with the Art and Historical Society Executive Director Michael Gita. Michael, it's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, Michael, how long have you been in Key West? I've been in Key West for roughly four years. Uh, I started with the organization about two, two and a half years ago and became executive director uh, this past December. Okay, great. Well, you guys, I know, have to stay busy so often over there because running three museums and, and having exhibits all throughout the year it's got to keep you on your toes always. <laughs> uh, it certainly does. I always, I always tell everyone it's, uh, it's what a museum does times three because mm -hmm. we have three very different museums that tell very different histories uh, and perspectives of the island. And so our, our job is very, <laughs> very complicated and very mm -hmm. time consuming. Let's talk first about the one that's off the main drag, Michael, which is the East Martello Museum. Yeah, the East Martello Museum is actually uh, one of the oldest uh, museums in the Florida Keys. It was actually where the society uh, first started in the early uh, 19, late 1940s, early 1950s. Uh, and it has been the center for a lot of the art and culture of, uh, of the island. Uh, today we have a, a very a wealth of treasures as far as the history and art and culture of the, the island. And we also have Rob the Doll, the haunted uh, mm -hmm. dolls, which is a huge attraction and draws a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it really is a little hidden treasure for tourists because sometimes they don't find out about it because they'll stick over to Duval Street. Well, it is. It's off the beaten path. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, you know, it's one of one of my favorite museums and places down here uh, because of that, because it's not, you know, and I think that's it's it's a really hidden gem because most people or downtown and mm -hmm. don't know that it's out there, but it's really a fantastic property and museum. Absolutely. Now, the Custom House, Michael, tell us about that. The Custom House, uh, it's the crown jewel of Key West as far as history and architecture and just significance. Uh, it was opened in 1891. It was one of the most beautiful, it is one of the most beautiful buildings down here. Uh, it was abandoned in the 1970s and the society took over the renovations of the building in the late 80s, early 1990s. And so it took about nine, nine million dollars in nine years to bring the building back to life and turn it into the museum that it is today. And so mm -hmm. what we focus on is telling the, the history of the island. We focus a lot on Henry Flagler and the Overseas Railroad, but we also have uh, our permanent collection housed there. So we have cycling uh, exhibitions uh, relating to art and history mm -hmm. of the island. Let's talk about the sculptures that are around the Custom House. I love those. Oh, they're, Absolutely they're, they're love fantastic. Them. Uh, they're by Seward Johnson, uh, who's very prominent in Key West and also all around the world. Uh, and so he is, they've been on display for multiple years uh, at the Custom House and we cycle them through uh, every so often. And we've also just added a few more sculptures to the Lighthouse uh, about a year ago. Think how many people have photos from those sculptures all over the world, Michael. I, I would say <laughs> that it's probably one of the most photographed areas of mm -hmm. Key West, but I can't actually, you know, say that with with 100 percent certainty. But yeah. they're, you know, every day I look out of my office, I see people photographing mm -hmm. them and taking their pictures with them. So it's they're they're a huge huge attraction for people who are down here. Well, they're beautiful, so it definitely yes. it makes sense. <laughs> the last museum is the Key West Lighthouse. Tell us yes, about that. Yes, the Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters, uh, the society started operating that uh, you know, in the 60s, 70s. Uh, it started out as a military museum uh, and then it went through a series of renovations to really convert it back to what it was like when it was actually being operated uh, by keepers, lighthouse keepers. And so since that point in time, the lighthouse has been open to the public who can mm -hmm. climb to the top and see pristine panoramic views of the island and then also can take a tour of the keepers quarters and really learn about the history of the people who tended the light and lived uh, on the property. Right. Now, are there any exhibitions coming up that we need to know about, Michael? Yes. Uh, we are opening two exhibits in September. Uh, one of them is going to be a uh, focus on Guy Harvey's sketches of Ernest Hemingway's Old Man in the Sea. Uh, he interpreted and was inspired by Hemingway's Old Man in the Sea, and so he did a series of sketches uh, called Santiago's Finest Hour, which were basically illustrations, uh, sketches depicting the, the novel. And so we have the sketches and we're going to be putting them on display uh, in September, and that will run for about three months. Uh, in September as well, we're going to have a history exhibit of uh, the industries of Key West, so really exploring the, the economic industrial side from turtling to sponging to wrecking to salvaging. So it's going to give that perspective of Key West history. Great. Michael, you have to learn something new every day on your job, don't you? <laughs> uh, yes, I, I am never amazed by the things I pick up and mm -hmm. you, know, you think you know something, but then 
you learn something new to yeah. alter that perspective or it's just you learn something new every single day. Great. Well, if you want any more information on any of these museums that Michael has talked about, you can contact him directly. All the information is on the bottom of the screen. Michael, I look forward to having you back on the show so you can keep us posted on everything, you know, that's going on in the, in the arts culture. Likewise. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in with me this morning. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and you can join me right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. If I